Hey there. Today I want to start with a story. Not just any story, but one that might change the way we think about the power of learning. It's about someone probably a lot like you or me. Someone you might work with every day. This is Jason. It's performance review season and he's eager to upskill himself. So, he logs into his company's LMS ready to grow. Jason's got his coffee, his laptop, and he's all set to learn. But there's a problem. Jason is partially sighted. For him, the infographics that are essential for understanding complex concepts are often as challenging to interpret as a blank canvas, and with each click, the gap widens. Not just in his knowledge, but in his connection with his colleagues who are advancing in their skills. What if I told you that we could bridge that gap for Jason that we have the tools to ensure digital world is as rich and accessible to him as it is for anyone else that's our mission today we're going to take those images from Jason's e-learning courses and turn them into a narrative he can engage with using all text and to make the process easy we will be using ChatGPT Vision to write all text that describes pictures for everyone to access the full richness of visual information but before we dive into using ChatGPT let's understand all text let's go through some of the quick tips to get it just right once we've got that sorted we'll see how ChatGPT can help us put those tips into action all right First up, let's get descriptive. We want to share what's important in that image. Think of it as setting the scene for the story. Now, don't get lost in the details. Keep it as brief as a headline. You want to be the spark that lights up the imagination and not the textbook that puts it to sleep. Moving on, we are avoiding the echo. If your page already talks about it, let's not repeat it again in the alt text. And here's where it gets artsy. We're not just listing items in the photo, we're talking about what the image means. It's less what you see and more what you feel. This one's pretty close to my heart. Be inclusive with your words. We are building bridges here, making sure everyone's invited to the party. Keep it relevant. Your alt text should tie into the content like a perfect knot. It's all about adding value to the reader's experience. Now, if an image is just there to look pretty, like background art, we skip the alt text for it. Oh, and a heads up: if you are showing a graph or a chart, let them know what's coming. It sets the stage for understanding it well. And last one, and it's an easy fix: drop the image of or picture of in the description. It's cleaner that way. and you can get straight to the story so here we are we've unpacked the essentials of all text and we've covered our must do's and please don'ts and it's time to jump into using chat gpt for generating our all text first we're going to upload the image we want to add all text to for that click the paper clip icon and upload the image Select the image and click open. Once the image is uploaded, here's the prompt we will add. Act as an accessibility expert with specialization in section 508 compliance and generate a descriptive alt text for the following image. Ensure that alt text is concise, provides sufficient context, avoids redundancy with the surrounding text and is inclusive. Notice how we are being very clear about our needs in our prompt. Here I've mentioned 508 compliance. If you're using any other standards, mention that instead in the prompt and ChatGPT will comply with them. Also, feel free to tweak the prompt to add the specific best practices and guidelines you follow to generate the alt text. Then click send. As you can see the image is uploaded and ChatGPT quickly generates all text for us. Simple, right? We just asked and it answered. The generated all text is clear, concise and gives everyone the picture even if they can't see it clearly. But what if you need to tweak it a bit? No problem. Here you can see that the all text is referring to a person as just a person, but we know it's a woman. 
So, we can simply instruct ChatGPT to refer to her as a female. Also, sometimes there are details we might not need for the course. For example, if mentioning curly hair, wearing denim jacket or nose piercing isn't relevant to the learners, we just tell ChatGPT to remove these details. This way, we can focus the alt text on what's important and leave out the extra details. We can also ask ChatGPT to include additional details that you feel it has missed out. Like here, if you want to mention about the ambience in the alt text, you can add that to the prompt. And ChatGPT will update the alt text based on your instructions. And here's the cool part. You can keep uploading more images and ask ChatGPT for alt text in the same chat window. ChatGPT will remember your previous instructions, making the process smoother. If the generated alt text fits the bill, great, use it as is. If not, just guide ChatGPT to tweak it until it's perfect for your needs. Next, we'll just copy and paste this right into our e-learning tool in the accessibility or alt text section. It's that easy. And there we have it, a little click, a bit of typing and some copy-paste action. And we are champions of accessibility. We've just given our e-learning content a dose of kindness that goes a long way. Remember, every step we take makes the web a friendlier place. Jason is enjoying his e-learning a whole lot more. And it's all thanks to folks like you taking the time to do it right. Stay awesome and keep making the digital world a welcoming space for everyone. Thank you.